All right, guys, I've got the X-Tool IP608 scan tool here, and I want to do a quick demonstration on how nice the graphing abilities are of these X-Tool scanners. Uh, all my X-Tool scanners have just really fluid and smooth graphing abilities. And so I've got it hooked up to my uh, 2016 GMC Sierra. We're going to hit manual select. Uh, well, actually, we're going to hit auto detection for the truck, 2016 GMC. Uh, we're going to hit system selection. We'll do ECM. Uh, this does have the M5U transmission. And we're just going to go into live data. And we're going to go down here to, uh, let's see, we'll do O2. So GM has some like pre-selected PIDs. Uh, you know, if you wanted to look at fuel injection data, uh, anything related to fuel injection, you just click that. Those are the PIDs that's going to show. Uh, O2 sensors, uh, which is what we're going to select, and it'll have anything related to the O2 sensors. So if you're having a, you know, a, a check engine light that's got the O2 sensor uh, code, any O2 sensor codes, you can troubleshoot it by going to that particular selection, and anything O2 sensor related is going to be displayed there. And what we're going to do, you can have up to eight graphs going on this scan tool. So. What I want to do is I'm just going to select eight PIDs. We'll do all four O2 sensors. Uh, let's see, what else can we get? I want something that's going to be moving a little bit. And I know that the uh, downstream O2 sensors probably aren't going to move a whole lot, but uh, we're going to select them anyway. Those are heater. Uh, fuel trims. We'll do the injector duty cycles. You know what? I want to take those off. We'll do engine speed, mass airflow, throttle position, and accelerator pedal position. So I've got eight PIDs selected. I'm going to hit custom. And it, it, so right now it's listed all eight of the PIDs that I've selected. Now, if you want to look at an individual graph, all you got to do is hit the little down arrow right there, and then you've got your individual graph. Uh, you've got your X and Y axis that you can select from, and you can customize that. So you go to X2, X3, and X1. Same with this one, X2, X3, and you can see the scale is changing so and I don't know yeah that goes back to X1 so uh, that's pretty cool you can see how smooth that the that the motion is it's just nice and smooth and, and it's just a it's nice to to use let's go let's go over here to uh, we'll just do engine speed because I can control that one really easy okay now this is where it's going to show you how it's going to auto scale. If you look over there on the left, it's got 400 or 560, 570 RPM. If I give it a little bit of gas, it scales it up automatically. We went up to 1745, it looks like. 1741. So it's got the minimum and the max that you can read. And then it's got a nice fluid uh, graph that you can look at. Now, this is what's cool about it. So you've got all your graphs. You can look at them individually. You can also, I'm going to hit the graph button. And now we've got all eight graphs displayed. And look how smooth. Let me get back over here to the uh, RPM. Engine speed. There's the MAP sensor. And I can control that just by pressing down on the gas pedal. So that's what I wanted to select those for. So, where you would possibly want to use graphing, other than it giving a nice visual representation of what's going on, sometimes with the numbers moving, you, you can miss a spike, you know, that, that jumps up real quick and, and goes back to normal. 
especially if you're driving. So if you want to, if you had a problem where you was driving, you'd want to have your graphs going, have the scan tool sitting off to the side, and you just drive it. And then whenever the instance happens of whatever the issue is, you should be able to see on the graph some difference that you've been trying to track. Uh, but here's the cool thing. You can also combine these. Now, I'll admit that me personally, I, I would probably very seldom use the combine, especially if you've got eight graphs up here. It's just too much going on. Uh, what would be nice is if you could deselect uh, individual ones so that to get them off the screen but I don't think it allows you to do that you can't get the text out of the way so that you can see just all the graphs so we're going to exit out of that we're going to go back uh, this is the cool thing data export and record so first we'll just I want to get some change going here and then I'm going to hit data export now you can see the frames down here. It's counting down the seconds and it'll eventually go into minutes, but it's also got frames. Now I'm gonna hit data export. And it tells you the path that it's gonna store it at. You hit okay. It'll have a default name. I always just use the default name unless you wanna change it, you can. And and I'm going to show you how we can go back and look at that. Not only on the scan tool, but also on the computer. Um, now we're going to do a record. And I'll show you the difference between the two. So now we're recording everything that you see right here. All eight graphs we're recording. So let me come on over here. Let me get back to the throttle position. Give it some gas just to get some movement going. I'm going to go ahead and hit the record button again. That's going to stop the recording. And that's pretty much it as far as what you're seeing up here. Now let's go through and see how you pull this information back up. You can also pause it, obviously, if you, uh, you know, let's say you was troubleshooting. You saw a spike. You can actually hit pause, and it'll pause them all so that you can kind of analyze what you're looking at there. You know, you can scroll through everything and see exactly where everything was at. And when the instance happened, incident, uh, you know, you can you can look at all eight of your graphs, all eight of the PIDs that you selected, and see what they're all doing. And then if whenever you're ready to continue, you just hit continue. So let's go back, and let me show you how to pull this information up. We'll just go all the way back to the home screen and where you see report we're going to hit report data re uh, diagnosis report is me basically having it connected to the truck and that's going to say year make model uh, all that it's going to show all the PIDs uh, for the engine uh, for that uh, O2 sensor PID selection button that I hit this is all the PIDs for that so we're going to exit out of that. Data playback. And there you see the CDS file. You can delete it if you're finished with it. Uh, and here's the uh, all the eight of the PIDs that we had selected. And if you hit the play button, you can see that it's a total of 511 frames. And it'll sit there and it'll play it back. So you can watch all these. Uh, the cool thing about it is if you wanted to uh, look at the graph, you can hit the graph button and it'll actually show you the graph. So that's pretty cool. You can see we're on 50, 60 frames out of 511. Uh, pretty cool little feature there, I think. So going to hit pause. We'll go ahead and back out of that. Hit back again. File manager is just a typical file manager. Let you go around on your uh, drive and select the individual files. It does warn you. It says it's for professionals only. You click yes. 
you can add, get into all the different files and folders and stuff. Just be careful if you do that, because if you delete the wrong thing, you could end up your entire uh, scan tool. But data view is what I was going to show you. you. Let's go over here to data view. Here's the uh, all eight of the graphs that we had. If you hit the little arrow, it'll take the text out of the way and give you a larger uh, graphing window. But you can actually drag where you want to look at. So if you want to look right there, and if you wanted to look at all eight of the graphs, if you come over here on the right, you can scroll up and you can see where everything else was at, uh, you know, in relation to each other. And you can also come over here on the left and you can see the, uh, the actual text uh, part of it. So you can see exactly what the numbers are. So if I come over here, tap with my finger, uh, you know, all these numbers over here on the left is going to change. So right there, that, that, the accelerator pe pedal position, uh, where is it at? Was it zero? But then whenever I tap right there, it's at, is that 3.0? Throttle positions at 14%. And there you go. Uh, pretty cool little feature. Pretty nice to be able to, to compare a bunch of different PIDs with one another in a graphing uh, way. So, like I say, I've always been impressed with the graphing. I've got other scan tools that the graphing is so choppy and, and uh, laggy, it's almost unusable. You, you can't even really use it. But the X tool, man, it's, it's just, it's so smooth and responsive. It's always been a pleasure to use the X tool graphing abilities. I've never had a complaint with them other than the fact that uh, a few months back, they had to fix their, uh, their scale. Uh, on the O2 sensors, their scale, I think, was at 5 five volts or maybe even higher than that might have been 12 volts i can't remember but so the o2 sensors generally work between about a point point two to point nine point eight volt reference as they're jumping back and forth and whenever you're looking at that on a 12 volt scale even a five volt scale uh you can't hardly see it but anyway they fixed that uh that was actually on the the d8 uh this that doesn't seem to be affected by that uh but now what I want to do is go in and I'm going to export that uh, file into the computer and show you what you can pull up in Excel. Okay, the first thing you need to do to be able to uh, look at the files on your computer is you're going to have to enable, you're going to have to get the files to your computer or at least be able to access the scan tool from your computer. So I've got the USB cord hooked up to the USB port. Now, if you come over here to uh, the home button, you go to settings, connected devices, USB, and then you go file transfer, you will now be able to access the uh, scan tool from your computer. Okay, so we're on my computer. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to hit file explorer over here to IP608 internal storage and you're going to go to Android data com.xtooltech.d7 files diagnosis and the CDS record is this is where the CDS file is stored and CSV record is where the CSV, CSV is a file format that is a universal file format for uh, spreadsheets. So if I click this, then Excel opens up, and now you can see up here, we've got a time on the, on the left, then we've got all eight of our data pids that we had pulled up. And you can scroll through and you can look at the exact time that any one of these uh, was at. So if you wanted to compare uh, Bank 1 Sensor 1, O2 Sensor, to anything else that you had pulled up, you can go down and as soon as you 
you'll see a particular anomaly. For instance, right here where it went to a 0.08 volts, you can go down and you can look at, you know, where everything else was at. Uh, you know, throttle position. There's all the different throttle positions that I had. All the data that I had pulled up is exported to a CSV file. If you had just a real problem child, you'd be able to ex export this data and be able to look at it uh, at any given time and compare it with whatever else you've got pulled up. But anyway, that's about it for this video. I've been real impressed with the Xtools ability to uh, graph. Anyway, we're done. You guys take care, and we'll see you.